Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something a little bit different. So I am going to be showing you guys how I dye my closure wig. So this is the wig that you guys see me use, or see me wearing, excuse me, in most of my videos. Um, I have about, well I have a couple of different wigs that I normally keep on rotation, um, but this is the one that I normally wear. Um, it looks like this right here. This is a closure wig that my friend made for me. This is using the Yummy Hair Extensions as well as this closure is not from Yummy. This closure is from Amazon, um, but the bundles are. So I think these are like 26 inches. And this is the construction of the wig and it's just on a regular dome cap. Sorry about the dye. I got this dye on there from the previous um, dyeing that I did however you can't see it it's not on the knots or anything like that so I'm cool with it and I don't wear it on the side or anything like that um, this is just a middle part wig so I don't have any type of problems with it so let's go ahead and get started into the video I've already cleaned out my sink so there's no worry about you know any type of um, contamination going on I've already Clorox my sink um, I let it dry so the Clorox wasn't wet or anything like that. Um, so now I am going in with this Kiss Semi-Permanent Jet Black Hair Dye. And this says it's a temptation. But first, since I have nails on, roll up our sleeves. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is make sure that I shake this um, hair dye up and I'm literally just going to run this all over the hair, make sure that all of the hair is saturated. Okay, y'all, so this is the mess I made, and I'm going to show y'all the after part of this wheel. So this is the hair. Um, again, I think this is like 22 inches or 20, I think it's 22 inches of, um, I think the brand, well, is Yummy Hair Extensions, but it's Elegance Wave. So it's kind of like a body wave, a little bit deeper than a body wave. But yeah, so I already have um, the whole thing dyed. Um, I only used one bottle of that um, hair dye that I showed y'all. So I'm going to come back once it's ready. I'm probably going to let this sit for about an hour or 30 minutes, however I'm feeling. And then I'll come back with you guys and show you how it looks. Um, well, what I'm going to use to wash it out with. So I'll be back. So this is the process of me just rinsing the hair out. And as y'all can see, this is coming out of the sink. So all you have to do is literally just run some hot water, um, room temperature, or really warm to hot water on it. And I am just going to let this kind of just do its thing. I'm about to go put some more gloves on and I will be right back. And I'm going to show y'all the shampoo and conditioner that I'm going to use. Okay guys, so these are the products that I use. I love to use this Organics line of shampoo and conditioner. This is the OGX or Organics. Um, this is the Weightless Hydration Coconut Water Shampoo. And then I have the Matching um, Conditioner. I really like this because it's not super heavy on the hair and it doesn't leave the hair just feeling like way down and stiff. So I really enjoy these products. And again, this was the um, color that I used. This is the Kiss Colors Semi-Permanent Jet Black. I love the results of the hair. I will show you guys what it looks like in a minute. I really do like how it co um, comes out when I use a full bottle. This is another bottle. I just like to have a back stock of these. Um, but I will show you guys the finished product in a minute. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm looking super crazy, but as you guys saw in the previous videos, we are going to be doing a how I put on my wig, how I install my wig, how I color. 
sorry, how I color, install, and just basically just how I um, do my own wig and get started. Let's stop all the small talk and let's go ahead and get started into the video. So this is basically me putting on the wig after I have washed it, I have um, let it air dry. So basically what I'm going to do, I just put it on my head. This is the Elegance Wave from Yummy Hair Extensions. I'm not sure the length that I have. I'm sure it's like a 22. Um, but I constantly cut off the ends of my hair once I find that they look a little raggedy after wearing them for a while. So I am just going to brush out this hair. As you can see, it does have a pretty wave pattern, but I'm going to have to brush it out because I'm not wearing it like that. This closure doesn't match. Um, I didn't get my closure from them. Typically I get my closure from like a cheaper website because me personally, I'm just not about to pay $100 for a closure. Um, now if I was to wear this in the natural way pattern, what I probably would have done was braided this up or I would have just um, wanded it. So this is what it looks like so far. Now I already have my hot tools getting warm for me. Um, the hot tools that I am using is this Annie's hot comb. And I'm also using this Remington curling wand, or curling iron. And this is like a one and a half inch barrel. I'm doing it the old school method. So the first thing that we are going to do, the first thing that I am going to take is a foam wrap lotion. This is the foam wrap lotion that I like to use. This is from the brand Nairobi. I'm sure you guys hear this all the time um, from people that do hair. By the way, I am not a professional hairstylist. I don't do anyone else's hair. I just know what works for my weave and that's what I do. So I really like to put this all over the closure part. Okay, so the next thing that I am going to do after I have put this all over the hair I'm going to go in with the hot comb and I'm going to do the best I can with flattening out this part because that is the most important part. Now I already have my base. Typically I get my friend to braid my hair down. That is another vital point of having a flawless install. I'm not sure. I may go ahead and sew this on but I'm probably not going to sew it on on camera. So I literally just take my time and go through. If y'all can see that, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so now that I have it pretty much as flat as I'm going to get it, don't worry, we can always go back because as you see with this curly hair, you can't really tell a difference. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to section off the hair and I'm going to speed through this clip because I know this can be boring. So I'm going to go ahead and start curling it, but I am going to show you guys how I do my bang pieces because that's the part that I really like to see. So I like to go through, kind of do it like a flat iron. Then I will start midway, kind of like where my eye is. Start turning it and pull the hair to the front like this. Then I'll click it down. And then each click I'll try and turn it around again. I don't uh, flat iron my hair and then curly. I feel like there's just too much going on. So this is what I do.
And then once the hair is all into the click, or all into the curler, then I'll just kind of roll it up. Let it sit for a minute, kind of pull it back down. And then that is that. And as you can see, this is where it's going to kind of swoop back. So that's what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this look and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is use this Sebastian hair. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this because of the lighting in here. But this is the Sebastian hair hold and control hairspray. And I'm literally just going to spray it all over the curls, kind of scrunch it into the hair. I like this because it doesn't give like a super hard hold. Okay, y'all, so I'm almost done. So you see this little hump right here? I'm going to go back in with the hot comb and I'm going to flatten that out. I like when the hot comb sits for a while because then it is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> I almost burnt my head, but yeah. Um, so I just like to go back in when it's super hot because I feel like it will flatten out all of these kinks that you have. Because the 
key to a flawless install is it being flat. You don't want to have no bulky hair. So that's that. And I really love how the hair looks when it gets like when the curls and stuff fall. I'm not really a fan of the super tight curls, but these are what they look like right now. Super cute, super cute. So I'm gonna flatten this side out a little bit because it's kind of thick up in here for my liking. So I'm gonna kind of thin that out. And then also what I'm going to do I'm gonna take this um, stick slick, and this is what it looks like. It's from the brand Lusters. I'm going to go in and put another bit of the hot comb on here just to give it back some shine and give it, make it look like you just left the hair salon. And I may have to go back in and do my side pieces again, just because when doing this, you kind of lose a little bit. But if not, we may not worry about it. I think I'm gonna have to do that one over. This is always my problem side to do. So the last thing that I'm going to do, I'm gonna take my MAC um, Studio Fix. I'm gonna take it on this little flat brush and I like to do my part with it um, just to define the part a little bit more. Um, when you wash your hair, I do find that that does come off so it's not going to last. But I like to put this on there because it defines my part more and it makes my hair look more undetectable. It doesn't make it look too wiggy. So I like to brush that out as well. Now, if you really want to get super fancy around your part, what you can do is you can put some um, mascara around this and that will give you a super, super flawless look. But I'm not gonna do that today because we quarantine, honey, so I'm not going nowhere fancy. But I may have to bump this one more time because it's not how I usually like it, but it'll do. Um, so yeah, if I decide to put this sewed on, then I'll just use a regular needle and thread. I like to use nylon thread. And yeah, that is the completed look. These are the curls. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure also you leave me comments down below of what you want to see more of. Bye, dolls.